next chapter, it's chapter 6 in the Hibbler book and chapter, I think it's chapter 6 in the other book too, the Baron Johnston, whatever book you're studying, you're going to have a, you're going to have a chapter on trusses, frames, and machines. You, you can trust me on this one. <laughs> okay. All right. So this chapter is over trusses, bam, frames, oh, look at that drawing, machines. Okay. Let's talk about trusses first. This is one of, if you tell, if you go up to your upper classmen and say, yeah, we just started trust frames and machines, man. Then they'll go, oh, I hated that. And I don't know why, because it's not that hard. I got you, man. We're going to get through this. It's going to be all good. Okay. I got you. All right. So trusses. What is a truss? What do you think of when you think about a truss? How about you climb up in the attic of your house, right? There's a truss up there. Trusses are lightweight, uh, constructions that are designed to carry a big heavy load okay so for for the amount of weight that a truss is the amount of load that it can actually carry uh, is is pretty great okay so there are some characteristics of trusses and I've kind of listed um, these characteristics on the board for you to remember to talk about what is a truss I mean what makes a truss a truss right so trusses are made entirely of two force members okay what's a two force member you don't remember do you We've only been over this a hundred times. You don't remember. Oh my goodness. You got to go back and watch these videos. Two force member, pin connected at both ends and no forces in the middle, right? Every time, no matter what the shape is, if it's pin connected at both ends, I don't care if it does an S, right? If it's pin connected at both ends and there's no forces or moments in the middle, then it's a two force member. Okay. Um, to be a two force member, uh, all members are pin connected. So trusses are completely pin connected. They're not welded at these joints. They're pinned at these joints. Okay. Um, the weight of the members is negligible. So again, for the weight of the truss compared to how much weight it can hold, the weight of the members in the calculation, it's really a negligible amount. It doesn't affect the answer. Okay. And then the last one, number four, trusses are always, always, always loaded at the joints. Okay. So you'll notice like here, I have a 400 and a 200, but those loads are attached to the joint. Of course, if the load was attached in the middle, okay, if the load is attached in the middle, then it's a multi-force member. It's not a two-force member. And that's not where the strength of the truss is because now you're relying on the strength of that member, okay? Uh, if you want to see a really sad example of that, go look at the FIU bridge collapse. Uh, in a Florida. Okay. Really horrible thing that should have never happened. The bridge they were moving, it was supported here. It wasn't supported here and it just couldn't hold it, broke it. Okay. There were some other factors, but that was definitely one of the factors. Okay. So anyway, trusses are always loaded at the joints. And finally down here, there are two methods for solving these truss problems. Okay. And there's going to be a videos over each one of them. So the, the two methods are the method of joints, method of sections okay and the method of joints that's going to be the next one next video i do okay probably my most watched video of all times okay i don't know why it's so magical but we're going to do it again it's going to be amazing okay so tune in for that all right so what's the difference in a truss and a frame well a frame is contains multi-force members okay it's not loaded only at the joints for instance, this member across here, okay, yeah, it's pin connected, pin connected, but then it's got a load on it, right? Then it's a multi-force member. Well, what about this one? It's pin connected, pin connected. Well, it's got something in the middle of it, right? It's a multi-force member. So there's a special technique for working these, uh, and I'll show you those. These are going to be a little more difficult. These are probably some of the most difficult problems in the book to work, okay? And then finally, machine problems. Okay. What is a machine? And a machine is nothing more. It means it has moving parts. Okay. So the quintessential machine problems, a pair of vice grip pliers, a, a pruning shears, some bolt cutters, right? The plier kind of family. Uh, and then tractor arms like um, buckets, uh, uh, backhoes, uh, front end loaders, all that kind of stuff with hydraulic cylinders and all that. Uh, those are those are machine problems. Okay, they have moving parts. Machine problems. I've I've never worked one that I can recall that ever had 
any reaction forces. In other words, this thing is not hooked to the world like this thing is, right? You have a roller connection here, a pin connection there. This thing is not hooked to the world, so you don't have any reaction forces. So, you know, that, whereas that'll be the first step over here is find the reaction forces. We'll probably, we'll skip that step on machine problems. But other than that, other than that, these and those, exactly the same, exactly the same, okay? Same methods to solve them, same, same everything, okay? So, here, here's the, here it is right here. This chapter is all about the FBD, the free body diagram. If you can't draw these good, if you're bad at that, this chapter is going to be unfun. I mean, it's going to be bad. We're going to practice it, and we're going to practice it a lot. But you got to get good at this, gang. I mean, we have got to be able to draw some free body diagrams with some pieces, and I'm going to show you how to do it. But if, you, if you're weak at this, you're fixing to struggle, okay? But I got you. I got you. You stay with me. I got you, okay? I promise. All right. So, trusses, frames, and machines. We're fixing to get after it. This is like we've been building, and this is like everything that we've learned so far is going to be involved in this stuff here. There's really no new, no new stuff in this chapter. It's just using the stuff we already know in a different way, so don't be scared. I'm with you, okay? See you in the next video.